Those stories and more in a minute, but we begin with a heated debate at Portsmouth City Hall. We have schools to support. We have workers to support. We have retirees to support. Turns out it could be one of the last in that building, which is exactly what caused tonight's back and forth. And that is our top story this Monday night. Thanks for staying up. I'm David Allen. And I'm Nicole Livis. Portsmouth City Hall and Public Safety Building sit on some pretty valuable waterfront property. A developer is already eyeing it, but some on council aren't hot on the idea of moving these buildings to a new spot. Instead, they're turning to you to weigh in on the concepts that were unveiled tonight. Madeline Schmidt starts us off. And I feel hoodwinked here. And I feel like the citizens are being who we. There will be no new city hall for Portsmouth council members to argue in. Let's get the public input. This is a no, no, Mr. Mayor. Uh, uh, sir, I've okay. got it. If they can't agree on how to get past the design concept phase. But we need direction from council and from citizens to understand where ultimately this will end up. Uh, in order to do that, uh, there are some costs involved. Monday night, Economic Development Director Robert Moore presented the preliminary sketches from developer Armada Hoffler. The presentation came with a request of committing $475,000 to the developer as reimbursement should the city withdraw from the plans. You know, anytime that you spend public dollars, you have to be clear and concise on, on what you want to spend it on. The price tag brought some tension to the room. I will not give the city's money away and sleep good at night if we're throwing money down the drain. Pushing council members to take it to the taxpayers. Before we spend a dime of money, I want to hear from the public. And we want the citizens to be happy with the building that they have because, again, this building will be here, you know, over 50 years when it's all said and done. Mm. All right, so Madeline, how will City Council hear from the public about the design concept? Well, tonight they agreed to hold a public meeting that will be Monday, September 9th at 6.30 p.m. in the Council Chambers. Now, because this meeting was uh, decided by them tonight and it's not actually required by law, they don't have to do certain advertising, but otherwise it is Monday, again, September 9th, 6.30 at the city council chambers. I'm sure a lot of residents will want to share their yeah. opinion on that yeah, one. Definitely. Thank you, Madeline. 